The bottom line is this. There will always be people in this country who say we've got to choose between clean air and clean water and a growing economy, between doing right by our environment and putting people back to work. And I'm here to tell you that is a false choice. That is a false choice. With smart, sustainable policies, we can grow our economy today and protect our environment for ourselves and our children. We know it's possible. And we know it because of what's been happening in communities like yours, where compromise isn't a dirty word, where folks can recognize a good idea no matter where it comes from. You know, a while back I heard uh, a story about the Rogue River in Oregon. Every year the, the Rogue is filled with, with salmon swimming upstream to spawn. But because factories were allowed to, uh, allowing warm water to run back into the river, the temperature was becoming too high for the salmon to survive. So to fix the problem, the town could have required the company to buy expensive cooling equipment, but that would have hurt the local economy. Instead, they decided to pay farmers and ranchers to plant trees along the banks of the river. And that helped to cool the water at a fraction of the cost. So it worked for business, it worked for farmers, it worked for salmon. And those are the kinds of ideas that we need in this country, ideas that preserve our environment, protect our bottom line, and connect more Americans uh, to the great outdoors. 